Today I'll show you how to select an option using the analytic hierarchy process with the SpiceLogic AHP software. Let's get started with an example of choosing a car based on three objectives. Say you want to buy a car and your objectives are maximize safety, maximize comfort and minimize cost. We'll start the analytic hierarchy process software by entering your goal. In the next step, enter safety and click proceed. Let's add the other criteria comfort and cost. You can add sub-criteria for each criterion, as you can see I'm doing now. But let's remove these sub-criteria to keep this example simple. Now it's time to perform pairwise comparisons between the criteria you have identified. Suppose you prefer to maximize safety three times as much as maximize comfort. Let's set that here. Again, say you prefer to minimize cost seven times as much as you prefer to maximize comfort. And you prefer to minimize cost three times as much as to maximize safety. Let's set these priorities. You can turn on the matrix view to see the pairwise comparison matrix. You can edit a cell of this matrix. Notice that when you perform a pairwise comparison, the consistency ratio is also calculated. Consistency ratio is a metric that indicates the consistency between pairwise comparisons. Suppose you like an apple twice as much as an orange, and an orange three times as much as a banana. Logically, you should like an apple six times as much as a banana. When you are presented to compare an apple and a banana, if you don't like an apple six times as much as a banana, then obviously there is an inconsistency in your preference. Consistency ratio measures such inconsistency. The higher this number is, the more inconsistent you are. According to Thomas L. Sahati, the consistency ratio should be less or equal to 0.1. So if your consistency ratio is not less or equal to 0.1, then it's necessary to rethink your judgments. If your consistency ratio goes over 0.1, the software will indicate that using a red bold color as you can see on this screen. The transitivity rule is a rule that basically means that your judgment must be consistent. So if you prefer an apple two times more than a banana, and if you prefer a banana three times more than an orange, after enforcing the transitivity rule, the app will assume that you prefer an apple six times as much as an orange. So, the app won't let you compare an apple with orange because it won't let you be inconsistent. This way, you can reduce the number of pairwise comparisons dramatically. All that to say, if you have a lot of criteria, you may find it useful to enforce the transitivity rule to keep things consistent and save time by performing just a few pairwise comparisons. Finally, when you are done with all criteria pairwise comparisons, click Proceed. Say you have identified two cars as options. You will be asked to judge the two cars against your criteria. You can consult statistical data and research online forums, or you can base it on your experience and beliefs. Suppose your belief is that car 2 is 9 times safer than car 1. Set the comparison accordingly. Then click the next button. Now think about the preference based on cost. A reminder, in AHP, you do not need to calculate or consider the raw price of the cars. Rather think which car is preferable than another based on cost. Move the weight slider accordingly. Click the next button and finally, you are asked to judge the options based on the last criterion, comfort. Say car two is five times as comfortable as car one. Set the preference accordingly. Now, click the Finish button and you'll get the calculated AHP model. The resulting panel is showing the recommendation as CAR 1 because CAR 1 has the overall priority score greater than CAR 2. Now, if you want to change any comparison, simply click on the Scale button and the Pair Comparison dialog will appear.
navigate through the chart carousel to get different perspectives. The sensitivity analysis is a crucial part of any robust decision analysis. By sensitivity analysis, you can understand which variables are affecting your decision significantly and which variables are merely affecting the decision. View at which point a decision gets changed based on a variable's value change. Notice this weighted attribute chart. You can instantly see which criterion is affecting your decision significantly. Disable a criterion from here and observe how the decision changes. From this page, you can reprioritize any of the criteria using pairwise comparisons. You can add sub-criteria or edit or delete existing criteria. The results will be calculated instantly after the change. Navigate to the Options page to see the Options attributes with charts. You can change the calculation methods from the Weighted Sum to Weighted Product, Geometric Mean, Fuzzy Geometric Mean, Eigenvector, etc. Get the report in PDF and Excel. Finally, for any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact our help desk. Thank you for watching.